tutorial, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add an adjustment layer. So adjustment layers are right here. Uh, and the type of adjustment layer we're going to add is a solid color. Um, the color that I want this to be is actually just black. So we'll go ahead and add a black solid color there. And we're going to create um, kind of a vignette. Uh, this is, I guess, a vignette the harder way. Um, but uh, it is going to allow us to create an interesting vignette here. All right. So we have our adjustment layer. It's black. And then we also have this uh, layer mask that's automatically added to all adjustment layers. So it allows us to control um, how we're, which area of the image we're adjusting. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in black. So I've got my brush tool. I've got black as the foreground color. You can switch between foreground and background color just by clicking these. Or you can also hit the letter X and it will switch between foreground and background color. I've got a 2000 pixel brush, so I just want to make sure I can actually see my brush size here. Um, I want to make it big enough that it's going to affect kind of the center there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click one more time. That's pretty good. I'm going to come down just a little bit and click one more time. All right. So it's nice and clear in the center. A little bit dark at the bottom. I might need to do one more down there. All right. So that looks pretty good as a vignette. So it's a little bit dramatic for me. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity on that a little bit. Take the edge off, and I'm going to take that down to about maybe 50%. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's got a nice vignette to focus our eyes towards the center. All right, now we need to bring some color in front of her because she does, in fact, look like she's sort of pasted on this background. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're actually going to add a blue glow. So let's make sure that all of our layers are properly named here. That those all look good. I'll go ahead and call this vignette V I G N E T T E vignette. This one is going to be our first blue glow. Blue glow one. All right. So we've got our blue glow. We're going to grab our brush here that looks like a good size and we're going to select our color and we're going to come up to this sort of teal here and i'm going to make it pretty intense fairly light around about in that area looks good okay so i'm taking that um I'm going to bring my brush size down to about maybe 1100 here. And this first dot I'm going to put down here below her. So by bringing color in front of her, she's going to start to blend into that background. And for this first blue dot, we're going to go ahead and choose Overlay. So I come to Overlay. It's going to affect that in a specific way. Now it's a little dramatic right now, so I'm going to pull that back to maybe about 70% opacity. That's a lot better. And then I'm going to add another layer, call this blue dot two. This, I'm going to come up more towards her head and face. We're going to add that in there. And we are going to take this and we're going to change that layer blending mode to screen. Just going to lighten that area. And again, it's a little dramatic, so we're going to bring that back down to about 70 or 60%. 
strength there, 60%. All right. So our next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to scale these up. Um, so I'm going to go to my selection tool, go to show transform controls. I'm going to click that on, and that's going to allow me to change the size of this and move it around a little bit to make sure it's covering her up. That looks good. So I'm going to come down to this blue dot. I'm going to change the size of that a little bit. Move that around. And I'm pretty happy with where that is. All right, so we've got that one. Now we're going to add yet another layer above here. Come back to my brush tool. This time we're going to bring some of that orange color in the front. I'm going to select a little bit of that so I can get back to my orange. That looks pretty good. I'm going to reduce the brush size this time to about 600, and I'll put that right over her face. Now that looks pretty drastic there. Um, so we are going to uh, choose the screen layer blending mode that brightens her a bit and we're going to reduce the opacity on that to 60%. About, thereabouts. Okay, so that's pretty good. Got the adjustment there again. I want to kind of bring that not just over her face but and over her body too so that shoulder doesn't stick out too much from the background and that looks great so we're going to go ahead and add now a curves adjustment layer we're going to do that for two things number one we're going to kind of darken the shadows give it a little bit of contrast brighten the highlights Try to get that to have just what we want. Okay, and then I'm going to choose which curves that I'm controlling here. I want to now control the blue curve, and I'm going to add some blue to the shadows. This is kind of like color grading, so I'm adding some blues into the shadows here. And then I'm going to select the red. And I'm going to add some reds into the shadows. And I'm going to add some reds actually into the highlights by pulling that over there. All right. So I'm pretty happy with that. The next step is a kind of a magic little key commands here. So we're to press Command Option Shift E. That keyboard shortcut combines that into a single layer that we are going to then do some things to create some additional contrast here. So we just took all of the layers, combined them into a single layer copy. And this is going to be a special contrast layer. We're going to go up to Linear Dodge. Trust me for now. Okay. We're going to go to Filter other high pass and we're going to take that to about 11 pixels that's good i put 12 that's fine and if i remove the linear dodge you can see it turned it gray and remember gray has a specific purpose in what we're doing so once i've done that it's not really affecting the color, it's the brightness and contrast that's going to be affected here. And I'm going to take this down to about 15 to 20%. You're going to see it leaves some contrast there. That's it for this one. We're going to hit save to save the Photoshop file, but now we need to go to file, save a copy. We're going to choose our saving location. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Sailor Girl copy is fine. And I'm going to choose JPEG as my file type 
that is the file you're going to turn in.